Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play EVE Online. Alright, let's get into the game here. And you might notice a little, uh, interesting change on that, uh, title screen there. With regards to my ISK. <laughs> Alright, awesome. But So, a viewer was kind enough to, uh, help me out with, you know, a small donation towards, you know, getting myself into a cruiser kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, so I think it was Burgers1973. Thank you very much for the, uh, the donation of 10 million isk. <laughs> Wasn't expecting anything from that, like that from you guys, but uh, I will be putting it to use, so I might as well, well, if I've got the isk for it, I might as well finish fitting out my Punisher here. Um, I haven't done any uh, research on the uh, um, prices here, so I'll take a moment to do that right now, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Hey everybody, I'm uh, not quite done yet. I've basically bought all of the Tech 2 equipment that I intended to uh, put on the uh, the Punisher here. I just haven't looked, linked the, all three of these up yet. Um, but I actually decided, considering I was actually planning on showing you what the the, uh, dis the Minmatar Destroyer is like, I really had no reason to want to go get the Scorch Crystals because, well, this thing will be able to do it without long-range ammo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it'll be able to reach out. I think this thing will actually be able to reach up to like 20 kilometers before the accuracy starts to really fall off. So I'm actually going to forego the Scorch S crystals um, just simply because, well, I don't need them because I'm going to be going into the Thrasher. So yeah, um, but obviously once I get into the bigger ships, then the Scorch crystals may come in a bit more handy. So I just took them out completely. Um, and basically all I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to go after the Hardeners here, the, uh, fa the uh, Faction Hardeners. Uh, the Imperial Navy. Now, I'm at here at a Imperial Construction, so that's where I'm going to be picking up my Imperial Navy Armor EM hardener, and this is just going to basically show you how it all goes about to use your LP here. Your LP accumulates, is it in your wallet? No, it's not in your wallet, it's uh, in your journal, over on loyalty points. As, as you probably saw, but as I was doing missions, they'd give you uh, rewards as well as they give you an amount of LP. Well, these are the amount of, amount of LP I have for each of these uh, stations kind of thing, and that's where I'll be getting the these hardeners from. So I think I'll be able to get f uh, four of them, but not all five of them. So uh, yeah, I'll probably forego the second kinetic hardener for now uh, until I've got a bit more uh, isk, because I think it'll probably they'll probably cost me 1.5 million isk each on top of the 11250 11, LP. So um, let's see here. Uh, we're, let's edit the filters here. <laughs> uh, can I, uh, cost less than 20,000, more than 10,000. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I just did that backwards. 10,000, 20,000. Okay, that didn't help very much. Uh, less than 11,000. Okay, you're being a pain in the butt. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, show all. Actually, no. Show affordable. It should be down here. Okay, it should be down near the bottom or close to it. Yeah, this is where you can get your upgraded implants as well. Um, so, which ones do I have? Are they the plus four? I think they're the standard. Oh, well. Really? More constructions. Um, did they bump up the price of them? Unless. Yeah, you got this other extra stuff here as well. You got the, the LP cost, the ISK cost, and the required items you need for them. Um, let's see where the hardeners are. There's the heat sinks. Yeah, 30,000 and 12 million ISK for <laughs> right now. Um, where are they? Yeah, here's the ones that I've got equipped, I think. Yep. Oh, there they are. Yes, yeah, so 11. Oh, so they're 4.5. So I'll only be able to buy one, and I need to get all that stuff. So I, this stuff is actually pretty darn expensive. So I guess I'm gonna have to pass on the hardeners for now. I'm gonna have to wait until I get into some uh, pretty heavy-duty missions. So I may not even be able to get these until maybe a level three missions, uh, when the salvage really starts to pick up and I get into some more uh, uh, faction uh, battles, like between the Minmatar and all that kind of stuff, so I can get those dog tags. So, all right. So I guess these are going on the the after the afterburner for now. 
I mean, the back burner. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, as far as this stuff goes, the Thrasher, I, I'm not, I haven't done any research about it yet. Um, but yeah, basically all you have to do, as you probably saw in here, all you gotta do is, you know, you gotta match up the LP cost, the IS cost, and the required items. You can usually get those through the market if you don't have them, like, on hand. And then, you know, if you've got them, then if you've got everything you need, then these things will show up and you just accept, and it'll, uh, go through. So I'm not gonna bother doing that, because I don't want that bean counter. Alright, so, uh, well, I guess that was a fail, but, uh, at least I got to show you what it's like to... Well, I almost got to show you what it's like to spend LP, but anyways, um, what do I want to do? Oh yeah, I'm actually going to scope out more, you know, all this stuff. Yeah, we're going to need seven 250mm light artillery cannon twos. Um, that's going to take some shopping, but I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to save this until off screen. so yeah, let's just get back into the missions here, and I'll meet you back in, uh, by Jeba. Alright, we're back, and actually, on the way back, just in case you were really looking forward to the Scorch S Crystals, I decided not to leave it completely high and dry. I just quickly ran over to Penergman to pick up a Tech 2 heatsink, so at least you'll get some more, get to see more damage come out of this thing. Uh, remember that the Tech 1 heatsink only boosted my damage by 7%, this one does it by 10%, so, <laughs> yeah, the, the damage output of this is much more. I think the total DPS coming out of the, maximum DPS coming out of the ship, I think is like 122.7 damage per second or something like that. So, yeah, and, uh, this next mission called Alluring Emanations, uh... I may end up having to uh, unlink those turrets because of the fact that we're going up against rogue drones again. And from the, uh, I guess, the wiki that I mentioned before, or that I showed you, um, <laughs> we're going to be facing quite a few of them, so uh, I might want to uh, split them up kind of thing. So, alluring emanations. Uh, yes, I certainly do have something for you. Recently, some explorers employed by MR Navy discovered an extremely strong gravimetric signature. Their scanners indicated the hidden belt was full of rare ore. Now, while this news would normally be cause for joy, I'm suspicious. I'd like you to fly over to the belt and check it out if it really if it really is full of ore. Wonderful. If not, get back to me with the news as quickly as possible. And, yeah, there's going... Uh, <laughs> unless they've changed it, this is going to be a rather interesting mission. So, going, to be go going up against drones again and being a level 1 mission. Or EM thermal, best thing to fit for uh, the tank. So let's do that. Uh, where are they? Yeah, man, thermal. Fit them. And there we go. Alright, and yes, I got the afterburner 2 on there, and, uh, yeah, 168.75 meters a second fa <laughs> percent. And all that fun stuff. Ooh, what's in this? Yeah, this is all the, uh, the extra stuff. I like to hang on to these, these types of afterburners and all that kind of stuff for the sake of, you know, should I ever get the urge to, you know, um, quickly fit something out to go somewhere. When I get a faster ship than the Punisher, then I'll use them. They're, they're really useful just because they're they're cheaper than Tech 2 and, you know, just they're, they're fast as well. So, all right, let's go out and uh, take care of this mission. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is definitely one mission. I would prefer to have the Thrasher. <laughs> Praise God again! But anyways, um... All right, let's get going, and yeah, I'm actually going to ungroup them. Now, I'll leave them grouped for now, and then when we get jumped, yeah, I think that might be what happens. Who knows? It's been a while since I've done this mission. Am I training now? Oh, yeah, thermic shield compensation, yeah. Hey, oh, there we go. Are there any asteroids? No, of course not. Darn. <laughs> Get my hopes up for nothing. All right, let's go. Let's turn this thing on. See how fast it makes me go. Yeah, a bit faster. Alrighty, let's do this. Yeah, 
as soon as I get into range. As soon as that thing will stop flying around so that I don't bump into this thing. Alright, let's do this. Oh, hello! Yeah, okay, definitely gonna need to ungroup these. Alrighty, <laughs> here we go! I'm just gonna stop here and wait for them to come to me. Um, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of drones. Bring it! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Being able to use the destroyer would be much easier. Oh well. Let's see how we do with this. Wow, they're flying fast. Let's actually open up the log here. This thing actually, well, does what you think it does. It uh, logs all of your. Oh, hello. Combat messages. There we go. Yeah, this basically. It's actually kind of cool to look at while you're doing damage, especially when you get into bigger guns, like with big artillery cannons. I think with the, my current skills, I think the maximum damage I've ever done with a single artillery cannon was, I think, over 1,800 damage from one shot. Perfectly strikes. So it's usually right above the places an excellent hit. Oh, hello. I can't keep up. <laughs> I might actually have to turn this thing on for a change. Hallelujah. Ish, that thing's... Can't hit it. Let's turn it on. Okay, you're being a nuisance. Thank you. Alright. Just a hit by the drone. Uh, Let's lower the transversal. Let's <laughs> uh, find something to orbit. Or not. just click that thing and it just pops them. It lowers the transversal enough for my laser to hit it. Room service! I was about to say buffet, but no, buffet, you got actually got to get up and do something. <laughs> this, I'm just sitting here popping them. Hey, we got one. 51 damage. Not bad. This is going to be interesting to salvage. It'll probably take a little while, but we'll get there.
this anymore. Because we're done, I think. Boom. And we are finished, I believe. Yeah. That's a lot of wrecks. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll... Oh, hang on. How close are each of them? I may just want to bookmark this spot. Ah, darn. There's still Some of them are still pretty far out. Because, yeah, sometimes when you get missions like this, especially when I'm in the Arbitrator... Um, well, not even. If you get into a mission where you just have enemies coming at you like crazy, like this one... Uh, sometimes, if you know you can tank the damage, just let the wind until they all get in range of within 5,000 meters of you, and just take them all out all at once, so they just bookmark that one spot, you come back, and just sit there and just keep salvaging one after another road without having to move, so... Yeah, alright, let's uh, pick one of these to bookmark. There we go, and uh, let's head back to the station. Let's see a damage modifier on these things now. 7.684875. In <laughs> case you're wondering if I haven't mentioned it before, uh, the heat sinks as well, they have a stacking penalty. I think they actually tell you in the description as well. Uh, yeah, using more than one type of this module or similar modules that affect the same attribute on the ship will be penalized, yeah. Usually, again, like, same thing with hardeners or anything like that. Um, three is usually a maximum. Unless there's one mission, if I recall, where loading up a battleship with all the lows with heat sinks would be a good idea. <laughs> to take out a station that you, that you can take out in there and get some decent loot. Alright, uh, so that's done. And complete. All right, so uh, let's see what the next one is. Uh, escape dissident again. All right, well, I guess I'll have to uh, take care of that off-screen, and uh, but yeah, I'll go uh, salvage everything, and I'll come back, and I guess uh, I'll have to take care of this mission next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.